Hi there everyone, Lori Baracco here, and I'm here to share my predictions for the week of September 20th, 2021. And I am using the Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann this week. All right, so I'm gonna give my cards a little bit of a shuffle and we'll see what comes up for us as a collective. All righty. And here we go. One, two, three from the top. Okay, so um, the first thing that really popped up was the last card here, the message for the last card, which is like really um, coming at me like a neon sign. And that is that Knight of Swords reversed. And the message from Spirit is to do your best to not resist and run away from feeling uncomfortable. Let's face it, we've all been in the position or positions where we're feeling really uncomfortable and we're being encouraged to stay in that uncomfortable place and navigate through things, right? Staying in the thick of it, keeping ourselves grounded and focused in the present moment and trying not to be pulled in many directions and investigate what is going on here. Why is this popping up? Why am I feeling triggered? And what can I do about this to try to prevent this from happening again, um, from me putting myself in this position again? So the other cards that um, are, were selected were the Eight of Swords reversed, then the Four of Swords, and then that Knight of Swords. So these are all swords, and swords um, usually have to do with our mind, our thoughts, our fears, our concerns, our worries. So there might be a couple of incidents this week that um, may cause uh, um, that, that fleeing feeling within us, the runaway, the escapism, to deal with what's going on. So that may pop up for us. The Spirit is really encouraging us to see things through. You may want to give up. You may want to go in a completely different direction. Try to resist that urge to throw in the towel. We are being called by Spirit to see things through and to complete some soul lessons, some karmic experiences from this lifetime and other lifetimes. And here I've got my um, garbage truck out front, so we might hear a lot of noise, but I'm hearing from spirit to just follow through, stay with this train of thought, follow the lead of spirit. And that is so important that we do that. Remember that all that takes place is important and it has been co-created with us, by us, with the Creator, as well as with those people that are in our lives. So everything that takes place on some level has an agreement that has been made. The good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, and it's all purposeful. So try to resist the urge to throw in the towel and run the other way. Okay, um, some things that I do in the moment when I'm feeling overwhelmed are, are I take a moment, I pause, I take a few deep breaths, I connect with my higher self and my guides and I ask, what am I supposed to do? What can I do in this moment? And I throw out my request for help. Please help me out here. I need some help, I need some guidance, stat. Right, and so you can do that in the moment. You can breathe, you can pause, you can um, smudge yourself, you could go outside, take a breather, connect with nature, and just know that there is treasure in that moment of that trigger, okay? So there's beauty, there's gold, there's treasure, there's wisdom, and there's healing in that moment when we're really uncomfortable, okay? Um, I am gonna share a video, I'm gonna tag a video um, in the comments area of this video. It is um, a wonderful story about how lobsters grow. So I will add that with my predictions and I feel like that's kind of the gist of what we're all going through and we have been going through. Well, since we, since we were born, right? But these days, yeah, the heat's being turned up a bit more, but we're being called to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. Well, we have, um, wonderful moments every moment when we make the best decisions. Nope, we'll mess up, we'll make mistakes. But however, that's also where the beauty and the gold is at as well, or they are at. Alrighty, I'm Lori Baracco. Thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Namaste.